Now, do you love delicious food with great scenery? I know I do. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unpack a few restaurants here in downtown St. Augustine that will give you just that. Beautiful scenery, great food, great vibe. Stay tuned to the very end to find out some of St. Augustine's best restaurants. There's no other place like downtown St. Augustine. Between its gorgeous waterfront, rich history, cobblestone streets, art scene, live music, and of course, its great cuisine, it is a place to truly experience and live. Now, we're going to dive into some of the best restaurants right here in downtown St. Augustine, starting with one of my absolute favorites, which is River and Fort. Now, this is just their upstairs terrace area, but truly the waterfront view from this point is gorgeous and breathtaking. It definitely makes it feel like you're on vacation while enjoying some of the finest dining experiences. They also have a gorgeous rooftop lounge as well as another terrace for you to enjoy. Their night scene gives an ambiance that you will definitely remember. Now, as we dive into further into this restaurant, we can't forget the food. Now, everything I've experienced eating here my last four times and when customers have gone, everyone has raved about how great their food is as well as their service. Check out their creme brulee key line. I know you're gonna love it. River and Fort is definitely one for you to add to your list of restaurants to try. This next restaurant is a local favorite as well as it was featured in the New York Times. Yes, people, the New York Times. It prides itself on preparing its food with locally sourced seasonal ingredients, providing you with the freshest, most high quality dishes. They have a range of different options from gluten-free options as well as vegan options and something for everyone all their food is rich with flavor and so much texture. We started off with the appetizers of the fried green tomatoes, as well as their homemade seasonal soup. And I must tell you, it was exquisite. All right, so we're coming to you from the Floridian. We just tried the appetizers of the fried green tomatoes, which were super good, especially with the bed of spinach and pickled vegetables under it. And their soup of the day, which was amazing. Everything is um, locally grown and farmed to table their menu changes without seasonally they have a lot of vegan options as well and we're going to try some of their most popular main dishes and let you know how it is truly guys this food was amazing so this is their chicken taco dish as you see plenty of great fresh ingredients included I tried their cornbread stack as this was the dish that was noted in the New York Times and it was definitely worth every bite and every penny. And this is a very affordable restaurant. We got all of these dishes for under $60. So let's jump into the next restaurant, which is Ice Plant. Now this is another farm to table restaurant, but what's unique about this restaurant, it is a old ice plant. Now, as we step inside the oldest ice plant in the United States of America, you will notice that you will get a two for one in this facilities as downstairs, they have a separate distillery with some of the finest local spirits offering everything from gin, rum, vodka, as well as bourbon. Now they offer tasting tours and a tour of the distillery seven days a week. Let's go upstairs and tour the restaurant. Now you'll notice more of the rustic feel throughout the restaurant. They have a bar on both sides as well. Their food is exquisite. They have a very limited menu as they pride themselves on doing a farm to table concept. So everything is locally grown and sourced. The food guys was absolutely exquisite. 
Now you may want to take a break from the food and get some delicious sweet treats. Kilwins is a great place to stop by where you can get some of the finest homemade budge, chocolate, caramel, and ice cream. It's definitely one that you should check out. It is a whole experience. Now, I can't wait to tell you about my next favorite restaurant, which is St. Augustine Seafood, which is accessed off St. George Street. You do have to walk up to this restaurant. They don't have immediate parking available. However, they do have two separate eating options. So if you want a full dining experience, you can eat in their restaurant that I'm touring right here now, or their walk-up counter, which is right next door. They have a great menu, though it may not seem like you have a lot of choices. There are definitely plenty for you to pick from that is delicious and again, affordable from soups, salads, fresh seafood baskets, oysters, and my favorite that I can't wait to tell you about, which is their absolute best clam chowder. Let's dive into it. Even when I took very picky eaters here to eat, they typically always love it. I've been here at least 10 times. Um, when they have specials, I would definitely recommend it. Um, everything is always super fresh um, and super good. I'm trying something new on the menu that I normally don't try, which is the fish and chip burrito. So it's like fish rolled up in a burrito with chips in it. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I really like their Caesar salad too. Um, that's super good. Their uh, mahi is really good. Their clam chowder is the bomb. Can you see how thick that is? Like it's all chunks. Like it's all chunks. Now here is one of their specials that they do occasionally. And guys, you do not want to miss it when I tell you this is one of the best plate of foods I've eaten in my entire life. It was worth every bit. Definitely try out St. Augustine Seafood Company. Thank you guys for staying tuned. I promise we have at least two more restaurants that I think you're going to absolutely love, especially their scenery. Please do me a favor, guys, if you haven't already, please show your support by pushing like and subscribe so we can get more of these videos out to you. Now, on to our next restaurant, guys. I know you're gonna love the scenery of this one, which is Beaches at Volano. Look at this outdoor deck, guys. Every time we sit out here, it is truly a tropical paradise. The sunsets from this restaurant will definitely take your breath away and feel like you have escaped the everyday life and worries. Now, a little bit about the food. I definitely would recommend their shrimp tacos or their grilled mahi tacos or their scallop appetizer, which will truly delight. Between the scenic views, the live music, and just the great vibe, Beaches at Volano is definitely one that you should check out and add to your list of must-haves. Guys, for staying tuned, I have two additional treats for you, which is Harry's Seafood as well as Catch 27 that specialize in farm to table cuisine as well. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the beautiful St. Augustine. If you would like more information on St. Augustine living or just living here in St. John's County, please be sure to stay tuned for our next video on some of the best neighborhoods right here in St. Augustine. Stay tuned for the next video.